Finally, honestly. <laughs> We've solved all these mysteries. The least they could do is give us Cthulhu. Mm-hmm. Johannes! I brought the thing! Come on! I guess we have to go oh, there's back. Oh, there's a beefus. Man. I can't believe he's like wandered out into a populated area. Ah, I killed the cop too. Oh well. That's fine. He was punching oh, God. you. My, my sanity. There we go. And my health. And our health. Alright, let's make some more. Yeah, let, me, let me top off some of my guns. Alright, I'm out of gunpowder. Whatever. Oh! Maybe there's some gunpowder in this trash can. What the hell is Seeing this? a dead policeman must be bad luck. Really bad. <laughs> oh. Wait, before you go hands. in. Huh? There's another trash can at the oh, end of the that? alley. To your right. Well, you're oh, left right. now. There it is. Yeah. Alright, let me get in, Johannes. Um... Uh, oh no. Oh, oh no. no! Oh wait, it's a stage. New case, self-defense. I came to the Crown Theater to meet Johannes Vandenberg, but all I could find there was Vandenberg's dead body. 38 revolver shell casing. That's the same I'm using. Oh, was I? Um, oh, they framed me. Somebody framed me. It appears someone tried to help him, but all in vain. Three shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. No, Colonel Mustard, you're supposed to give me my submachine gun. Yeah. Uh. How could it end like this? The blood stains are still wet. This phone was used recently. Okay. As our material existence is not life, so our material destruction is not death. Monade possesses the ultimate power of transforming the world. Thus, being added to an odd number, it turns into an even. And added to an even makes it odd. Uh, okay. I'll take your word. Year de la Lande. Repercussions and reflections. Okay. For this world is nothing more than just a play of lights and shadows, dwarfed to insignificance in the endless corridor of angles yielded by mirrors that reflect each other. Hmm. Everything is fractals, got it. I am fascinated. Le philosophe in canu, selection of maxims and aphorisms. How is that door? Oh, okay. There's a cable it's... that way. I was just like, how does that <laughs> door exist in this space? We're in a theater. How do you yeah, think? You're right. You're right. Silly me. Ooh. Oh, something. Your humble servant, Theurgy 
a man. Okay. And out of all of the outcomes I was guessing at, I did not expect this. Yeah, me either. That spotlight. Hang on. Go back up. Middle spotlight. Or I guess the this one was... to the left. The other one. Uh huh. Oh, no. It's just another weird little acid thing. Oh, okay. I keep seeing little white dots. Alright. I definitely didn't say all the evidence was found, so. Cthulhu time? Oh, yeah, here we go. Cthulhu vision. This is gonna be trippy as fuck when it like pulls back and reveals that we're the killer. Yeah, I'll repeat that. Yeah, easy. Easy. That's the thing that uh, the dude drew. I bet you there's a rift now. Yeah, I hear whispering. Stairs. I'll check. Wait, that poster. Yeah. Strange Eons Philosophical Society meeting upstairs. Oh, okay. Explains all the wild books. Uh, Why did they leave their books? Well, there was a murder. I guess. Else is there? The blood stains are still wet. This phone was used recently. Wait. Three oh. shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. It's also some bullet holes on the wall, but I don't think those are. Yeah. Yeah, no. That, those are too high, unless they're it's from down here. Thirty-eight revolver shell casing. That's the same I'm using. Would have to... Oh, there we go. Ah. Oh, I GB. 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 Wear this. Kill Vanderberg, and your sweet new wife won't get hurt. Huh. Was that our boy? Yeah, it was. There we go. Yeah, I knew my palace was his. Our rescuer killer was blackmailed. Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Okay. There he goes. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you... Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Okay, let's see what actually happened here. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Uh, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble... Can't you see we are having a safe... Police! Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Four. Johannes Vanderberg was with a guest when the killer arrived and shot him. His visitor survived and used the phone to call the police. All right, we're definitely gonna have to go to the police, uh, the precinct, and look up the the, the murder. Yeah. Okay, all evidence collected. Hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah, we need to find out that guy. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 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 No, well, I guess it's been a while since we've had one of these. Don't try anything stupid. What? Why? You're under arrest for the murder of Johannes Vanderberg. Uh, uh I didn't do I it. I didn't kill him. We have clear evidence against you and an eyewitness report. Take him in. Uh. You know that hat looks like our um. It does. Our our default hat. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. The plot thickens. It sure does. 
Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Does everyone have mutton chops? I feel like I should remember him, but I don't. Who are you? I don't remember him. investigator, I thought you'd have a better memory. I was giving orders oh, that's at the right. manor when you visited. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. Oh. I must. He remembers me? I'm, uh, pleasantly surprised. That seems helping Mr. Carpenter was a good choice after all. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me, how did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. Let's just say they keep us in the loop. I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? At least no of name to PC. Do it, yeah. Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter sure. wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. Okay. The plot the thickens. Plot thickens. <laughs> hey. Uh, key evidence collected, but not all evidence. Uh, he bailed me out. Okay. I don't have an alibi. I do have an alibi. I was fucking helping literally everyone else. And mm -hmm. killing Blackwood, but that's a different murder. Yep. You better start brown nosing Carpenter. If it were up to me, we'd have already thrown away the key. Why? Because I did your job too well? I didn't do a thing. Oh, really, newcomer? Uh, shall I read your record aloud? Sure. Yeah. I'm a good citizen. <laughs> a good citizen with a shotgun. People like you are best kept in jail, if not the asylum. Okay, I've definitely killed a couple of people with, uh, with a shotgun. Um, what's You're not the so good with people, are you, officer? Men like you are why this city is a mess. I wasn't you even blow here. off locks and break into houses to ransack them. You stroll the streets with a loaded gun, firing at innocent passersby. And don't you dare deny it. I... Mm, sometimes you can't help it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll do better. I've done all of those things, though. <laughs> it's true. Um, I'm when sorry, I'll do better. like that, I can see how I may have made some errors in judgment. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> I'll try to do better. Well, that's a good start, Mr. Reed. Assuming you're not being sarcastic again. Eh, Just like remember. That's the most sarcastic character in this phrase. game. You'd still be rotten in Oakmont Jail. <laughs> oh, okay. That was all the evidence was to get admonished oh, by the officer for all the shitty things I did throughout the game. <laughs> I wonder if if those things are like they state those things, um, no matter what, or if they actually like the things that I've done throughout the game have mattered. Because if they have, that's awesome. Right. Like, bravo for, you know, because, you know, everyone knows you're going to play these games like a complete shitbird. Yeah, you're just an absolute lunatic. So if, it, like, if, if, his, if his dialogue was influenced by the dumb shit I've done, um, I want to, I, I, it's been a while since we've gone into Throgmorton, so I gotta see. Oh yeah, we should probably tell him about Professor Doe. He's probably just gonna blow us off and be like, he doesn't want to ch- Oh! Oops, okay. Albert uh, Cake is still here. Oh yeah. I found Harriet Doe, but... But... Things did not go as planned. She didn't make it. What? I pay you to find someone and you come here hat in hand bleating that she didn't make it? She was our last chance to discover what is wrong with this city. What happened to her? She probably drowned. I'm not going to tell him I killed her. Because I didn't. Well, we didn't. 
Only Not in this timeline. Flee the underwater temple of the order. I think she probably drowned. How on earth could this happen? You were meant to have it under control. I don't even know how I got out of there alive. I couldn't do anything, Mr. Throgmorton. I'm sorry. Useless. Any other bad news to report? Uh, oh, I found the source of the madness. There's something ancient below this city. Ruins of some kind. They drive people insane. Or rather, what lies within does. <laughs> Not since. I expected better. <laughs> I'm talking about the very ruins your people were sent to explore. Didn't end well, did it? You yeah. seem intent on ruling out rational explanations in favor of the inane. Wow, really? dude. There's nothing rational about this. That is for me to decide. Ruins. Hmm. Perhaps another expedition is in order. It will take some time to organize. All right, this buddy, you do that. I don't need your services on this case anymore, Mr. Reed. Here is your payment. Adjusted for your failure to retrieve Harriet. Of course. Wow. Bye. Good day. Whoa! You Whoa! You shotgun That's shells? brutal! That is brutal! <laughs> Two shotgun shells? That's like leaving Another a nickel as a tip. That's wow. like going out to a restaurant and just leaving a nickel on the table. Instead of not tipping, it's no, like not even not even a nickel. Huge that's like fuck you. That's like that's like when it comes time for the tip, leaving a mint. Oh my god. I'm heartbroken. Wow. <laughs> Bobby Throckmorton hates us. Oh. Don't you have work to do? All right, what's gonna happen now? Oh, oh. we've changed clothes again. Changed into my my uh, my on the go detective attire. What happened here? What's going on? Um. Wait. Okay, old man to young man. Oh, now I'm on fire. Hmm. Am I a am I a Cthulhu double? Hmm. Twistier and twistier. No, no, no one saw me lose my shit, right? Charity work. Oh, we could be running a real racket. Why do you have C4 on your chest, sir? Some people just do in this city. It's weird, right? Like, er yep. All right. Uh. Good day. Hello, Mr. Carpenter. Mr. Reed. Welcome. Things are busy right now, but I hope we may soon find the time to share a conversation and some wine. Ooh, That's some wine! Luxury lately. Wine or time. Regardless, I won't delay you further. Uh, thank you for bailing I me out. I appreciate you bailing me out of jail. I was in a difficult situation. <laughs> a trifle, Charles. Though I understand you're not off the hook yet. Milton Pierce says he saw you killing Vanderberg. I didn't kill him. I believe you. From what I know of your character, even if you and Johannes had a falling out... I wouldn't have done that. Exactly. Reed, I trust you. But the police don't. If you can't find the real culprit, there's little more I can do. That being said, the Carpenter family still has its connections in the police department. Just let my taskmaster know when you have an alibi. Uh, how are you holding? How up? are you feeling after everything that happened with Brutus? Please, I'd rather not discuss it. But my father is upstairs, should you wish to see him. Uh, upstairs? We are I, upstairs, I, sir. We are upstairs. Are, are, are you talking about heaven? Like, I'm pretty sure he was going to hell. I think he's talking about the, the double that's in the other room. Uh, I get the feeling. The Papa double. Vanderberg. He was an old friend. A man of rare mental clarity. I met him in Europe during the Great War. 
He and you are among the few decent men in this city. I hope that I won't need to choose one friend over the other. You served during the Great War? Yes. One of the hapless grunts at Mu's are gone. I'm afraid... I still find it hard to talk about. I understand. Don't worry, bro. I'm glad they refer to it as the Great War and not World War One because World War Two hasn't happened yet. Yeah. It was the war to end all wars until it wasn't. Until it wasn't. He's a prominent voice in political circles. Though he's not afraid to play ugly. I saw his interview with the Oakmont Chronicle recently. You know where I can find him? He's somewhere in Reed Heights. But, sorry, beyond that I can't be of much help. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Carter. I should go. I should be off. Before you leave, here's a little problem solver for you. Should you run into any Oh my god, is he giving me the machine gun? Yeah, Mr. Reed. I'll set aside some wine for when it's all over. <gasps> oh my god, He's yes! He's inviting us to a date! He gave me a gun and a date? Oh my god, this Wait, is great. Wait, what's the top poster on his wall? It was the, the destroy this, this mad brute. Oh my god. This? I don't remember it. I love it. Thank you for going back and looking. Of course. All right. So we need to go to the newspaper and get the information from there. Yep. Um, but we also now have a, a Tommy gun. Oh my God. It's been so long. Uh, how much... What do I need for... Okay, well... Chicago broom. I love it. <laughs> the M21 Chicago broom is a favorite with private buyers. For good reason. Uses 45 AVP rounds. That thing is going to chew through ammunition. Uh-huh. And hopefully beefuses. Yes. In fact, I'm counting on it chewing through beefuses. Mm-hmm. All right, newspaper time. Man, Throgmorton, though. Two shotgun shells. Two shotgun shells. That's but there was, insane. there's no way for me to, 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 like, win that. Like, Harriet Doe dies, pretty much. Yeah. Like, there's I don't nothing think there's, we can do. I don't think there's any way to save her. Uh, here's your payment adjusted for your failure. Two shotgun shells. God damn. That was that's fucking cold, Throgmorton. Yeah. That's after everything we've been through together. That's colder than making a cake of your dead son. Yeah. Which you never even actually Offered. invited us to partake of. You know, honestly, he's probably glad that he didn't. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, for sure. Maybe if we had some sun cake, we wouldn't get the two shells. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Uh... All right, here we go. Newspaper. Mr. Reed, a question for you. Would you like to see your name on the front page of the most popular newspaper in Oakmont? Pretty sure that you're the depends. only newspaper in Oakmont. The stories I've seen you cover, they're... Uh... They're not exactly my kind of news. Well, if you don't like them, this is your chance to make a difference. Oof. There is so much That's going a good sell, on in the city that people need to know about. We need somebody out in the field. Yeah, yeah. I'm in. All right, sure. So long as it's a paid job, I'm in. So what do you want me to look into? Monsters from the sea, giant rocks all over the city? Mm-mm. -mm. Nobody's interested in that kind of stuff anymore. Why not? We need something that'll sell. Uh, gossip, scandals. <gasps> Ooh! Real, real news. Real he's news. Got the latest lead. Why don't you go see him? He's upstairs. Oh, and don't forget your camera. You're gonna need it. All right. Oh gotta... hell yeah! See you later. Porter okay. boy. Oh my god! I I gotta see where this goes. Oh, we're gonna. I gotta. Go... You immediately turn around and leave the office. I Goodbye. Gotta get, I gotta get the good, the good shit. Where's the upstairs? Oh, there are the stairs. Editor, I'm here to sell you pictures of Spider-Man. Oh, budge. The cover side tiger. 
There's a rumor of a tiger roaming coverside looking for prey. They say it escaped from the local zoo during the flood and was never recaptured. People are saying it's no ordinary beast, but some kind of skinwalker or evil spirit. That's vastly different than a tiger! That is. The residents of Coverside have reported hearing it roar at night. A man named, Cha Ma man named Claude Hamilton claims to have seen the tiger in a damaged house. He was taken from the site of the accident by the doctors. That is... Why is there a skull on the pillow? That's odd. Did the editor leave Yorick here in charge? <laughs> Yorick. Yoink. Right. The editor's keys. Our okay, keys this now. This journalism stuff isn't too far off from what I do. What's with the board, though? A map of leads? And photo of Throgmorton. I'm just gonna take the photo of Throgmorton. Put it in my pocket. Keep it Right forever. next to my heart. Yeah. Aha! You can come in here now. Uh... Not a lot in here. Nope. Literally just that briefcase. Okay, there's gotta be something else. Who's this? Uh, oh, the lady uh, with no paper in her typewriter. <laughs> Alright, let's see upstairs. Maybe there's more. How do you guys put out papers? Like, your printing presses look like they're destroyed. Yeah, jeez. There's, the editor's not here. God damn it. Uh, he left Yorick in charge. Is Yorick the editor? I guess we'll go talk to Miss Bland again and find out. I want to talk to the skull again. Hold on. That's odd. Did the editor leave Yorick here in charge? Oh, I hope he's the actual editor. I really hope it's him. That would be wonderful. And, and, and everyone just plays it fucking straight. That would be yeah. incredible. Yes. I guess this piece of paper is the lead you were talking about. It's, um, about a tiger? Oh, yes. The tiger. A wild beast roaming the city. It's, it's driven by hunger and primitive instincts. Excitement. This is ideal for the paper. Uh, about your editor. Your editor. He doesn't look so well. well what do you mean? Oh, he's a skull. A uh, literal skull. <laughs> well, <laughs> every man has the right to his little quirk. Oh my god! Yes, oh my god! Yes, like it's three! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I love this fucking game! It's so good. Alright, alright. Let's do the, the murder witness. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Um, I guess commoners, current events, uh, read heights. No. Oh, articles and interviews. He gave an interview. He might not be a commoner. He's a uh... official. There we go. There we go. Pierce's interview. Today our correspondent had the chance to roam the beautiful alleyways of Eastern Reed Heights, all for the sake of interviewing one of the most promising political figures in Oakmont. Pierce's property, an apartment building tucked away on Museum Avenue between Communion Road and Helix Street, is definitely a great site, a grand site. But Mr. Pierce takes pains to assure us he is in touch with the needs of the humble man, meeting regularly with co community leaders. Mm, That's a puff, mm -hmm. puff piece if I ever heard one. Yep. All right. Uh, so this is, uh, Reed Heights, Eastern Reed Heights, on Museum Avenue, uh, uh, between Communion Road and Helix Street. Oh, perfect, right here. Oh, wow, found it. And, you know, while we're doing this, uh, the Coverside Tiger. Oh, we gotta go to discover where the doctors took Claude Hamilton and ask about his encounter with the tiger. Um, that we probably have to go to the hospital for. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe that the, the editor of the Oakmont Chronicle is a skull. Oh my god, everyone here is crazy. Everyone is batty nuggets, and I fucking love it. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. This is an A-plus game. A-plus. <laughs> 
we <coughs> we've got tongue blasted catfish, gorilla fucking, uh, skull editors, um, <laughs> Granny Weaver, Granny Weaver, the big uh, beefus, uh, the big Queen beefus, Leg Day, Queen Leg Day, the laziest college students. Oh my god. The deadest college students. The, de the deadest college students that summoned skinwalkers so they didn't go to a boring lecture. <laughs> Everything about this game is so good and so absurd. I love it. All right. I gotta figure out where this, this tiger is. Yeah. We know it. it's a beefus. It's gonna be a beefus. It's absolutely like a stripey beefus. Be safe. Hey, Dr. Grant. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait. I gotta. Oh, okay. I do have it on free. Uh, Parasite Tiger. Kooky goings on. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, patience. Probably surgery. Probably. Uh, cover side. There we go. Oh. Claude Hamilton, worker for, worker from cover side, taken to the asylum, showing strong signs of zoophobia. Claims he was attacked by a tiger and that's still stalking him. Well, alrighty then. Alrighty then. Uh, I mean, let's follow this this thread. Let's Bye, pick, Dr. Linebacker. Pick apart this little thread, since we're yeah. already on it, and we're just going to be going to the asylum. He's probably going to tell us where he encountered said tiger. I'm in the. I'm busy. Police detective business. There we go. Oh, no, wait. It's up here. I, I think. Yes. Yeah. It's hard to tell with all this, all this fog. Yeah. All right. Hey. Hello there. I'm um, looking for a patient. A guy named Claude Hamilton. He was attacked by a tiger. Yes, he's here, hiding somewhere. But you won't get much out of him. How come? A severe case of zoophobia. He thinks the beast is here. If you can find him, talk to him. You'll see what I mean. Goodbye. You, so you don't know where he is? That seems safe. Yeah, no, that seems totally Watch normal. Watch your pocket. Some patients here have wandering fingers. Uh, I mean, this tracks for an asylum in the 20s. Yeah. The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. Can you hear? Somebody's singing. Beautiful. I hear. Still hear those voices. Water me. Don't just stare at my leaves. <laughs> okay. There was one more dude. Was there? Yeah, in the corner. Oh, there he is. Let's play. Uh, no. Eventually you'll end up where you are meant to be and will be doing what you are supposed to do. Yeah. I remember that poster. That's depressing. Yeah, it is. Supposed to be motivational. Slapped on a picture of a World War One soldier. <clears throat> okay. Hello, Tiger Boy. He said he was hiding. Maybe he's like under like a desk somewhere. Tiger Boy. 
Is that him? Oh, no, it's just a no. coat. What can I do for you? Uh, tell me where Tiger Boy is. Sir, are you on the clock? We both know he doesn't care. Yeah, it's the 1920s. Alright, uh, maybe he's in the basement. That would be the most logical place for an actual Beefus to appear. There's not even a rat in this building. Certainly no tigers. No, that's a lie. This place oh, definitely has rats. It's hunting. There's flies right there. Haven't you seen the tracks? Tracks? What tracks are you talking about? Scratches on the floor. Everywhere. I can hear it gnawing on bones. I can feel its breath on my neck. Hear the rumble of its roar. Uh, I'll prove there are no tigers. I'll take a look around, maybe snap a few photos. I'll prove that there are no tigers here. Then we can talk. Uh, don't say the T word, you Dane! Wow. Pictures for Mad Claude. Okay, alright. Got, gotta take some photos to prove that there's no tigers. <sighs> We'll start in the basement, where the beefus will appear. Where, where there's sure to be a tiger. What am I supposed to be taking a picture of? Normally there's like icons. So that's what's been scratching the floor. Oh, okay. Weird wheelchair. Yeah. Mirror room. Sorry, Bethany. Oh, this is what's making the the roaring sound. I love that it has a face. Yep. The dials look like eyes. and hearing a loud roar. Yeah, okay, okay that, that should be it then. I'm back with some photos. I'm back! Thank Kay, you're alive. <sighs> Take a look at these photos. There's an old boiler near here. That's what's making the roaring sound. See? Huh? Oh, are you sure? Is that really what I've been afraid of? Yes. I found the source of the scratches. Here. See? An old wheelchair? Are you sure? Yes. Take a look. Can, we, can talk we talk about the tiger? So, Claude. Is he here with us right no. now? About the tiger. About what you really saw. <laughs> good, you good, keep good talk. like that, I'm gonna track down the real tiger and give it your God address. damn it. Charles. <laughs> Spare me. I'll talk. Where did you see the beast? What happened? Who else was there? Come on, spill. I was meeting with some friends at an abandoned site. We heard this roaring. Abandoned site, huh? Write the address down, would you? But go on. You heard a roar. And then another one. It was like something from the movies. We all ran, and well, it chased me until... Until I guess I, I passed out. That's it. Movies with sound in the nineteen twenties. Yeah, I think so. Sorry. Bye. Bye. Oh, knowledge point. 
Where's my machine gun? Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, machine gun. Boom. Now I'm maxed out on guns. Oh, no, I got these to do still. So machine gun accuracy is increased and gonna... Okay, well, I'll worry about those with my next points. Okay, so now we have... Uh, in southern cover side... East from the crossroad of Lincoln Street and Landing Avenue. Here, oh, here we go. Boom. Well, that's not far. Nice. Ah, let's go take a look. Let's go see what this tiger shit's all about. Mm-hmm. Let's go see this specially colored stripey beefus. It's a stripey beefus. Yeah, well, it's mean, an orange it might, beefus with stripes. It might be a queen leg day. Don't forget, we did get get a rare monster that one time. We never saw another queen leg day. That's true. I'm glad we never saw another queen leg day. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll see another unique monster. Uh, okay. You know what? Let's do this. Go this way. Go this way. Hop on my imaginary boat. You take that back. The Cyclops 2 is real. It's real in my heart. Exactly. in the boat. Uh, don't. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Fuck. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Ah! Fine. Uh. Like Mine will me, walk. Me Cyclops 2, you had one job. Yeah. By no, it is by no fault of my own, despite the fact that I was piloting it. Mm -hmm. You did your best, and therefore I, no one can criticize you. It's true. Uh, well, that's gonna be a murder. Well, Just if keep I don't, walk in. If I don't see it, it didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. Did those birds just explode out of the water? No. They just kind of took off. Oh, uh, okay. It looks like they just kind of burst from, from the water. Looks like it. Here we are. Uh, uh, this is what Claude and his friends got up to then. Oh. Oh man. Oh Claude, you're you're a bigot. Well, now I'm sad that the tiger didn't kill you. Me too. <laughs> Claude, come on! I had high hopes for you. Looks like Hamilton and his friends were up to something pretty heinous here. Okay. Seems like they left in a hurry. All this blood. I suppose it attracts monsters. Or a tiger, in this case. Zulu vision. Uh, I don't want to know what they were doing here. 
I think we know what they were doing here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, there we go. There it is. Come on, Claude. Show your <sighs> Uh Well. Beavis? Oh, oh, no, it's not a beavis. That's not but... a tiger. Yeah. There's another one upstairs. Oh, I think these are invisible Brian. I think invisible Brian's are blue. These guys are pretty pale. Maybe. Oh my god, I craft these bullets individually. Oh, I'm so not going to use this very much. Yeah. It, it's not worth it. Down here. More clan shit. Uh, more clan shit. No, oh, more oh, some wibble wobbles. There we go. Ah. The hidden clan room. Clan and speech clan. Brothers, today is a great crossed out day of celebration for our cause. Our new member, crossed out neophyte Claude Hamilton, has joined us. A decent and capable man ready to fight those wishing to destroy the sacred, crossed out, order issued by K itself. Uh, hey, show me some magic tricks, motherfuckers. Haha. <laughs> it's a weird dildo, but okay. Uh, you know, I was literally about to say... <laughs> Fucking beat me to it. God damn. I did it. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Another weird dildo. Yeah. Is this their dildo collection? Looks like their dildo. We found the clan's dildo collection, everyone. Well, someone, someone stole them, though. Um. What the fuck is this? I can't tell. It's too dark. It's wavy, dark lines, but I can't get through it. I gotta find the dildos and place them on the pedestals. I didn't know Bad Dragon existed in the 1920s. Well, you learn something new every day. <laughs> God damn it. Uh... Apparently, dildos do suck up the dark energy. Hey, what's up? How you doing? All right. Oh, what is this? A warning note. As you constantly forget our benefactor's goodwill and bring trash upstairs, the second floor will now be closed. Only use the first floor and don't even think about trying to jimmy the lock. I'm, I'm going to jimmy the lock. It's going I'm good. Jimmy We're... it. We're uh, solving Cthulhu mysteries and finding uh, the clan's dildos, I guess. What the hell? Yeah. It's been greased with shoe polish. Odd. <laughs> Somebody Jimmy the lock. Seems it was yeah. perfect. Uh, oh, hey, is that a, that, that's hey. a dildo? Hey, oh, that's very uh, other, big. An otherworldly figurine, indeed. And a shoe polish. I doubt a tiger carried it in here. Why not? Uh, wait. Hold on. Let me do the vision. No. What the hell is this thing? Oh, wait. There we go. Jock steel broke again. Wolverine. Nah. There oh, we go. Hey, we got a rift. Okay, let me just see if there's another dildo around here. No? Alright. Well. Okay. We got a thing here. Time to Come figure on. this out. Be here any minute. It looks like he has the dildo. 
He put he put the dildo in the suitcase. I don't understand how that dildo fit in that suitcase. I, I hope the police don't catch me this time. Okay. Is that Claude? Maybe. Get out here, boys. We've got a long day ahead of us. Uh. You don't like that. It's the tiger! Run for your life! What happened here? Okay, yeah, I think that's him. All wait, right. wait, wait, hang on. Stop, stop. Whoa, whoa, Go whoa, back whoa. around. Uh -huh. Dildo. It's on the barrel there. But the, I, I'm in the past. I, or I'm oh. in the rift right now. I'll do it when I'm done. Okay, so it sounds like this was the first. Then he went upstairs? Or did he go upstairs first and then... No, that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna say this first. Get out here, boys. We've got a long day ahead of us. Uh, then this. I, I hope the police don't catch me this time. Come on. I'll be here any minute. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Oh, no, wait. No, maybe that was first up there. It's the They'll tiger! Be here any Run for your life! Well, we'll yeah. find out. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, that's. I forgot he said they'll be here any minute, so. Uh, so it's gonna be this first. Wait, no, he has the briefcase there. Okay, one. Come on, be here any minute. Two. I, I hope the police don't catch me this time. Three. Get out here, boys. We've got a long day ahead of us. It's the tiger! Run for your life! No? Hmm. Okay, then maybe it was this one first. Yeah, there we go. This one. I hope the police don't catch me. This Come one. On. Be here any minute. No. Come on. There we go. Three. Get out here, boys. We've got a war. It's the tiger! Run for your life! That has to be it. Yes. Someone broke the lock yeah. in the office and hid inside. Then they scared off the clansmen by imitating a tiger roar. Oh, okay. no beefus. There it is. There we go. Got the got the dildo. Alright. Alright, now we go place the dildos to remove the dark energy. It's one. Oh, there it is! Ah, yeah. yeah. Oh god. Oh, no, oh, no. I mean, we knew it was gonna be a Beavis. Oh. Okay, well, uh... No, I want shotgun. We're gonna jump this. He's gonna portal in. No, he's gonna wander back down. No. Oh. Hey, Beavis, come back. We want your XP. Oh, he's gonna blow up! Okay, oof. Got Did him. Alright, well, now that he's... Now, what was he hiding? What secrets yeah, what was the secrets? Beavis hiding? Uh, Ritual secrets. Moss covered manuscript. The one whispering in the dark, hear our prayers. We kneel to your will, bring you obedience. Bless us. We exhaust ourselves with prayers. We ask, we plead. What do you want? What else should we do? We grew gardens and burned them. We built boats and let them sink. We went in the waters and sunk there and came back. We loved and sacrificed whom we loved. Grant us signs. Grant us knowledge of your wishes. We bow our, we bow our knees and open all doors, because you are the door and the key in what is beyond. Okay. Okay. Cool skull mural back there. I know, right? That's wicked. Yeah, that's metal as fuck. Uh, no, no Cthulhu vision. All right, so what? So someone. Okay. Uh, I have to interview him for my article, but first I need to find him. He was afraid of being caught by the police again. Uh, okay. Damn, this is a windy fucking uh case. We gotta. Yeah, go to the... we're gonna. We gotta... What's up? Oh, we're gonna take this back to Miss Bland, and she's gonna be like, "Oh, this is." This is boring. Where's my tiger? Where's my tiger? All right. Uh, well, I got to head to the police department. So 
Because now I got to see if this guy has been... Well, it said the police, uh, the police... I hope the police don't catch me again. Is anyone going to put that out? Or are we just going to let that... No? All right, cool. No, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Then it's fucking, contained. It's not going anywhere. Is it, though? I mean, it's... <laughs> it's fine. I mean, one one good gust of wind and that is no longer contained. The city is very moist. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Let's I, I want to finish out this case. I want to know I, I I want to know where this goes. The tiger secrets. Yeah, I know. If if Miss Bland is like, "But what about the fucking tiger?" I would be so upset. I'm not. That just seals her as one of my favorite NPCs in this game. <laughs> I'm so delighted that she's just playing the skull in the editor's office straight. Yeah. Like, you have a. The, well, that's the, just the editor. Your editor is a literal skull. Everyone's got their quirks. Sure. Don't waste my time. All right, I'm not. I'm just gonna do your job for you. Where's uh, where are your archives? Here we go. Uh. Here we go. So, property crimes. Uh, suspects. Um, Instruments. Criminal or criminal pattern. pattern. Yeah, there he is. Michael Robertson's profile. Alias Mockingbird, age 21. Residence, Southern Coverside, Derry Lane, between Roosevelt and Lincoln Streets. Occupation, voice actor in Drunken Ship Cinema, unemployed after the flood. Suspected of burglary, housebreaking, public nuisance. Used his uncanny vocal talent to scare victims. Granted early release. Oh, damn, that's actually really cool. That man is 21 going on 50. Yeah, he didn't age well. He's had a rough life. I mean, he lives in Cthulhu-verse. That's true. Southern cover side between Roosevelt and Lincoln Street. Here's Lincoln Street. Oh, oh we need Derry Lane. Uh, here we go, right here. Derry Lane. Boom. Behind the hospital. Huh, easy. Um, actually, yeah, what's the easiest way to get there? Would be to just go to the hospital. Fast travel to the hospital. Screw taking the roads, I'm gonna teleport. Hell yeah. Nope, that was my prison cell. Yeah, we lived there for a brief time. Uh, here we go. Until I handsome, roguish, slightly disfigured gentleman bailed us out. Yes. And then he wants to, he literally wants to wine and dine us. It's true. I mean, I'm not saying no. No, absolutely not. We have so much in common. <laughs> we live he in likes Cthulhu wine. land. He likes wine. I like wine. We both live in <laughs> Cthulhu land. There's so many things We're... that we can talk about. We were both in the war, which oh, that's uh, we're right. not going to talk about. We're no, we are not going to talk about the Great War. <laughs> nope. Because we're just PTSD all the way down, and nobody thinks that that's important to uh, to take care of. Oh, my in God. This time period. Yeah, no, not for another hundred years. Maybe not even then. Well, I guess we care a little bit. It's, we, look, we've been better about it. Yes. I, I will give us, as a society, that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm starting to notice, you're right, there seem to be lights above the doors. When there are doors. When, there, when there's doors. Oh, don't budge. Oh, don't tell me he's dead. Monsters. Oh, oh. I'm coming don't in. Butch. Yeah, it will. Whoa, oh. whoa, 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 whoa! Ow! Ow. Okay, good. I'm glad he had to reload, reload too. <laughs> Race to reload. Don't bother the lad. I know you're bored of uh, bored of hiding here, but stop putting the lad next door. He told us about the wild beast downstairs, the ones that make all those strange sounds. The police have eyes on him, so keep quiet and stop your stupid jokes. You follow? Okay. Uh, <laughs> door won't budge. Yeah, it will. Oh no! What have we done? Man, we just did the thing that cop accused us of doing. Eh. I mean, you're not wrong, but also... 
I we have did a breaking and entering, and then we did a murder. We did a double murder. Brawler and the servants of the spider god. Yes. Alan Brody, the modern Samson. Ooh. Gromer, the noble Gromer. troglodyte. Oh, man. Remember that poster was on the boat when we first started this game? Yes! And then five minutes later, we met a Some real troglodyte. Ooh. Aww. Oh. Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? By the decision of the Oakmont Court at the recommendation of Prison Officer Wesley, you are freed from incarceration in the Oakmont City Jail. As a condition of your parole, you must not leave your house after 10 p.m. Every week, you will report to Officer Wesley regarding your whereabouts, work, and behavior. You are forbidden from owning firearms, participating in demonstrations, and having a pet. Why can't you have a pet? That's Eat a concern. Bride. That's a concerning caveat. Why can't he have a pet? Ooh, what's going on Everything here? Everything you'd need to start a little cinema. Stolen or just kept safe. Oh, he had a projector. Oh, was a voice actor. Is a voice actor. Uh. Okay. What's going on there? Oh. Oh, it's my my phantoms. They're here to help me. They're oh, he here jumped. to lead the way. He jumped Jump down, down here. here. Jump oh. down again. Oh, come on, go down. Come on, there, we there you go. Ooh, it's dark down here. Uh. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, what's this? Uh oh. This is how he becomes oh. the tiger. <laughs> Helen will love this headline. Oh, picture. Costume picture. and some shoe polish. A lot of shoe polish. Okay. So now I have the picture. I guess. So it's a. I had to interview him, but I don't see him around. Marauder gang sent running by Tiger. Impressive. Night prowler caught fleeing from the Tiger. Well, it sure knows how to get the headlines. Oh my God, he's like Batman. Yeah, he's Tiger Man. He's doing good deeds. <laughs> like, whoa. I know you're a dude. A trophy room. Huh. Helen would love a picture of this. Oh my god, he's Batman. He's literally Batman. I need to heal up real quick. You're not, you're just a, you're a dude. I know you're here. That is a very convincing tiger noise for sure. I know, that's hard to do. Bravo, good sir. If I open the door and there's an actual tiger there, I'm going to shit a brick. I will laugh my ass off. <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I heard you, buddy. <laughs> the door won't budge. Ah, the door's stuck. Something's stopping it from. Oh moving. yeah, there's something inside. There That's quite oh, here he is, there, fella. Impressive. Who are you? Get out of here before I call the police. Oh my God, he's so I'm, nerdy. I'm a reporter. I'm not gonna scare him with the private eye bit. Yeah. Calm down, Michael. I'm from the Oakmont Chronicle. Came for an interview about the tiger. Uh, I, I don't know anything about a tiger. Let's be clear. I know you're the tiger. Okay? Oh, okay. Okay. What do you want? Um, how long have you, have you done this? How long has this been going on? Soon after the tiger escaped, my gal's mother stopped us meeting up. I took to roaring near the old lady's window, just, just to scare her. <laughs> I can see it as a joke, but 
how did it end up with you pursuing criminals? That's, well, that's quite a leap. Armed marauders attacked someone in the backyard. Roaring was all I could think to do. They ran like children. I saw my path. Yeah. Yeah. The roar I can see, sure, but dressing up in rags, wearing a mask. Isn't that ridiculous? Oh, you, you don't understand. When I'm dressed like that... He I is Batman. Oh my god, he's Batman. The terror itself he's the knight. My roar is the call of death. Are you going to keep this up? All my life, I've been afraid of this city. Now I, I can confront it. The tiger gave me strength and gave meaning to my life. Thanks, Michael. Good to hear your perspective. Y you won't publish everything, surely. Tell them about the tiger, n not about me. Oh, rest assured. All this is on the QT. Nice. Nice. I won't stop fighting. Yeah, you Hell fight yeah, the, kid. You fight the good fight, kid. Oh my god, he's Tiger Man. I this is the best fucking game. This Every was time. a good quest. I'm very pleased. <laughs> Every time I think, no, this can't possibly get any better. No, they give us Tiger Man. Mm -hmm. All right, got to go back to the 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 journalist and Tell them about my awesome fucking story. Oh my god, it never fails. It never fails. Every side quest in this game is golden. I would prefer... Like, the, the main quest is interesting, but the side quests are where it's at. Yeah, absolutely. This game is absolutely... It, every game needs to take notes. This is what your side content needs to be. <laughs> You can talk about making players want to complete it. I know, right? The only thing that I'm upset about is that there's a missed chance because they could have given... By doing this, they could have given me the Tiger Man suit. <gasps> You're right. So that's my... That is my... You know, it would have been a solid A+. plus. I'm going to have to give it an A- minus for not giving me Tiger Suit. Yeah, we I definitely need to dress Charlie up in, as a tiger. I can't run around as Tiger Man. Is a is a huge missed opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's your story. It's gonna be a good one. I got something on your tiger, and it's a doozy. I'm all ears. Uh, no. I, we're gonna lie. Tiger attack on clansmen. Yeah. The tiger attacked a group of clansmen. Those goons were working someone over. And followed the scent of blood, got into their hideout. Ah, okay. Did it kill them? Sadly not. Those cowards managed to avoid becoming Tiger Chow. The good news is, their victim escaped. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, wait, this could be a good story, but what angle should we take? Uh, let's make it a... Oh, oh, which one? These are both good. Oh, no. I say let's make it a legend. Let's make Tiger Man real. Yes. Why not make it a myth? Imagine, the tiger that hunts down criminals. Now that'll put some fear into the gutter scum. Maybe do some good. Huh, not bad at all, Mr. Reed. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah. The legend of Tiger... <gasps> wait. Oh, okay. Those are... I saw a tiger outfit, but it... Wait. A tiger's trophy room? Those oh those were the photos. Ah uh, yeah. I, I, hand, I handed over the photos. I was so excited. I'm sorry, bro. Did I ever do the? I did. Okay. Well, we'll continue this. Ne did I get another skill? I did. Ooh. All right. Let's pump it into submachine gun. Hey hell yeah! We finally got it. Yeah, there's only one more submachine gun upgrade, and then all I have left are. Traps, which Traps. I don't use. Uh, eels, I don't really swim. And Little double tongue. quest rewards. That's yeah. it. Wow! So there's only one, two, Three, five four, more five. levels, and I'm and I'm and I'm max level. Yeah. Okay. Oh God, they could have given it to us. We could have we could have had it all. 
We could have been Tiger Man. We could have been Tiger Man. Okay. But you know what? I think... Let me save it. I think this is where we're going to call it for tonight. Yeah, sounds good. End on a high note. End on a high note. And then next time, we're going to get back into it. We're going to see what, what this Pierce business is all about. Did it save? Or am I going crazy? It probably did. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, it's a quick save. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Oreceivable. Don't forget to follow our YouTube channel uh, to see the rest of the playthrough um, and all of our past playthroughs. Uh, we'll be back uh, same time next week. Well, we'll be back Monday night. Monday. Monday yep, night, Monday yeah. Night. And um, have a good night, everybody. Yeah, have a good one.